Welcome back. I'm Ryan Cummings. And I'm Andy Satowski. It's, of course, a very uncertain time for health care coverage right now. Mm -hmm. With layoffs at companies big and small, a lot of people aren't just losing their jobs, but they're also losing coverage that comes with it. Our Doug Reardon is live from home today with a few options if you find yourself in need of a plan. Doug. Yeah, hey, Ryan and Annie. We talked earlier today to Marty Lolly. She is the Chief Marketing Officer of Priority Health, and she said that while a lot of people may have lost their jobs and with it their employer-sponsored uh, health care, there are options out there for short-term coverage, even if it isn't through priority. And she said the important thing is to just make sure that you do have coverage, even if it isn't through them. Uh, and there are so many short-term options out there, guys. Of course, there is COBRA that you can take advantage of. That is uh, exactly for situations like this. It's the federal program that offers coverage in case of unemployment. Same is true for Healthy Michigan, the Medicaid program that offers low-cost coverage to Michigan residents. And priority says even if you don't have coverage yet, you should consider ways to get in touch with medical professionals from your home. We have offered free virtual health and telehealth to all of our members on all of our products for acute services. We've also added a screening decision tree on our website so that members and customers can go and, and screen themselves to see if they have the symptoms that really warrants additional care. You shouldn't go without coverage. There's too much risk. Right, guys, nothing is a substitute for coverage, Marty said, no matter what. And uh, she mentioned that decision tree that you can help identify some of the symptoms yourself from home. This is what it looks like. A lot of just simple questions. Do you have a fever? Do you have a cough? It can certainly help cut back on the number of people going to the hospital. So that's something else that they have done. Uh, and, and also they've argued for a special enrollment period. We know that right now you can enroll in traditional health care coverage because the deadline for that is passed. But what they did was lobby the state and the federal government to open up a special enrollment period so that people who may not have health care who desperately need it now can get on a short-term plan, guys. We know that that has been approved. We just don't know when that enrollment period is going to be. So we'll keep you updated on that. From home today, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News. Back to you guys.